Hey guys, Spino Dude here, and today we are going to be taking a look at a Popo figure. So let's have our co-host Marvin bring it out. Thank you, Marvin. So today, guys, we are going to be taking a look at this. It is the Papo Baryonyx. Now, this figure was released back in 2016, and if you've been staying tuned to the channel, you remember we unboxed this Baryonyx as part of our 2016 Christmas Spectacular. A big thank you to EverythingDinosaur.com for their awesome service, as always, when they sent this one over. Make sure you check out their newly designed website. Link will be in the description. Anyways, guys, I'm really looking forward to talking about this Baryonyx, so without further ado, let's dive into the review. Before we take a closer look at the figure, here are a few quick facts about Baryonyx itself. Baryonyx walkeri means heavy claw. It was a species of Spinosaurid that lived in the Cretaceous period of what is now England. Baryonyx was the first theropod dinosaur demonstrated to be piscivorous, which means it fed on fish. Evidence for this comes from the stomach region on the holotype specimen, where scientists found fish scales. Baryonyx may have also hunted and preyed upon larger animals, and was most likely a scavenger due to the same specimen having juvenile iguanodon bones in its stomach. The name Baryonyx comes from the massive claws on the animal's forelimbs, which would have been ideal for grappling slippery fish and perhaps other struggling prey. Its notched crocodile-like jaws and sharp teeth were also perfect for fishing and holding onto its victims. So without further ado guys, let's start taking a closer look at this awesome Spinosaurid. So here is the 2016 Papo Baryonyx. When I first saw the promotional images for this figure, I was not too impressed with its appearance. But having this figure in hand now, all I can say is that those promotional images did not really do it justice, mainly for the awkward angle the figure was shown at with the awkward posing. This figure does have a somewhat awkward pose in general if we look at it from the sides, but there is one angle you can view this model from that I think looks fantastic. So let's turn the Baryonyx here so it's facing us, and let's open the articulated jaw a bit here, and look at that. I think this viewing angle on the figure just makes it look amazing. I love the position of the head and the body at this angle, and I love how you can see the tail sweeping off to the side and the back. But going back to another angle here, although it does look a little bit awkward, I think it could be used for some great action dioramas. Besides the pose, another thing that stands out on this model is the somewhat glossy finish. Some people don't like it, but some people like me think it looks like the animal is wet. You can almost see it lunging out of the water at an iguanodon or something. Since we know that Baryonyx fed on fish, it most likely spent a lot of its time near large bodies of water or other wet environments. Now, quite a lot of people in the dinosaur community refer to this depiction of Baryonyx as monstrous. To me, this is one of Papo's least monstrous models. Certainly, the pose is very dynamic and aggressive, making the Spinosaurid look quite menacing, but looking at the details and the sculpt in general, it really makes up for a nice depiction of the animal. When I look at other Spinosaurid models, I almost need a confirmation as to what species is being presented. For example, somewhat similar looking species like Baryonyx and Suchomimus. When I look at this model though, I can almost instantly tell that it's intended to be a Baryonyx. The head sculpt, the details, the build of the body just speaks Baryonyx to me. The head on this Baryonyx is my favorite part on the whole model. I mean, just look at this sculpt. It's absolutely stunning. All of the little scales down the snout look fantastic, and I love the skin dangling from the bottom jaw. You can see the eye done in a yellow color there, and the crest between the eyes that Baryonyx is known to have. Now, of course, this figure has an articulated jaw, just like most of Papo's other carnivorous prehistoric animals. The teeth are sculpted very nicely, and the detail on the interior of the mouth is beautifully done, especially the stunning detail on the tongue. Papo are experts of making articulated jaws that don't stand out on their figures. Looking at this Baryonyx, you can barely tell that the jaw is movable. Looking from the bottom, you can see how the movable jaw blends in really nicely with the bottom of the neck. The only thing that sort of stands out is the slight color difference between the movable jaw piece and the body sculpt. 
Also, look how nicely those teeth match up with the upper and lower jaw when closed. I love the spikes and scoots going down the back of the baryonyx here. The sort of rough texturing going down the spine really makes it feel like an animal that would spend most of its life near water. I think the detailing across the sculpt is very nicely done, but it almost feels like there's a somewhat lack of scale detail when compared to Papo's previous releases. The scale detail seems to be lessened beyond the neck here when the orange color starts fading into the grays and browns. The head and neck itself has gorgeous Papo style scaling and overall detailing, but past the neck and into the main body, it almost looks as if the paint obstructs some of the texturing in the sculpt. Another thing I really like about this figure though are the claws. They are very nicely sculpted and painted on the hands here and on the feet as well which look very bird-like. Now I am actually a big fan of the choice of colors on this model. Papo tended to go for mostly standard brown and green color schemes on their dinosaurs, but I think this Baryonyx has a great balance of vibrant and duller colors, which feels very naturalistic. I like the orange color that starts on the back of the head and goes down the neck, which then transitions into this gray color with some nice brown stripes. The tip of the tail has a little bit of orange on it as well, but unfortunately a tiny bit of mine has scraped off. I think this is a very unique color scheme as well. If the Baryonyx here was all orange, it would be way too vibrant. And if it was all gray and brown, perhaps it would be a bit too dull. So I think Papo did great with this mixed balance of vibrant and dull colors. Now on the promotional images for this figure, it appears as if the Baryonyx is a tripod like this, but it's actually not. The flattened pads on the bottom of the feet help the figure stand on its two feet. Although I have heard that some of the figures people receive have trouble balancing and therefore need to lean on their tail, which is unfortunate. If any of you guys decide to pick up this figure, I hope you can get one that can balance on its feet like mine. All right, so for my overall thoughts on this figure, I love the sculpt, I love the detail, I love the color scheme, but the pose is okay for what it is, but I'm not really a fan of it. I think in the end, it really just has to do with the positioning of the arms, actually. I don't like how the arms are up so high and close to the face. I think if they were dropped down to a more relaxed position, they would fit in more with the posing of the rest of the body. I feel this Baryonyx had potential to be one of my all-time favorites from Papo if they went with a different pose, or even if they posed the arms to be a bit more relaxed to fit in with the rest of the sculpt. But just looking at this Baryonyx design-wise, I think it is a fantastic representation of the species. Like previously mentioned, my favorite part on the whole sculpt is the head, which displays spectacular detail. The rest of the body is done very nicely as well, although there does seem to be a somewhat lack of scaling detail on the lower body when compared to Papo's previous dinosaur releases. In the end, I think it's still a very nice figure, and I hope Papo attempts to create some more Spinosaurids in the near future. So you're probably wondering just how big this figure is, so Marvin, bring out the ruler. Thank you, Marvin. All right, we've got our trusty flexi ruler now, so let's give this Baryonyx a measure. So in terms of the length from the tip of the snout all the way to the tip of the tail, we are looking at about 13 inches. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the neck here, we are looking at about five inches. For comparison, here is the Papo Baryonyx next to the Papo Dimetrodon. If you want to see the review for this figure, link will be down below in the description. Papo's Dimetrodon is one of my all-time favorites from their company. It displays fantastic detail and I think it looks great alongside this Baryonyx. I think the color schemes complement each other nicely. So make sure you guys go check out Papo's Dimetrodon, it is a beautifully done figure. Up next for comparison, here is the Papo Baryonyx next to the Papo Spinosaurus. If you want to see the review for this figure, link will be down below in the description. These are currently the only two Spinosaurids that Papo has produced. The Spinosaurus is a classic favorite of mine and I think the figures look quite nice with each other. Although this Baryonyx is way oversized next to the Spinosaurus. And finally for comparison, here is the Papo Baryonyx next to the Papo Caprasuchus. If you want to see the review for this figure, link will be down below below in the description. These two models are both 2016 releases from Papo and I think they look great on display with each other. So make sure you guys go check out Papo's Caprasuchus. It is a spectacular figure, one of my all-time favorites from their company. 
Well, there we go, guys. That was today's look at the Papo Baryonyx. Although the pose bothers me a bit on this figure, I think it is a very nice representation of Baryonyx. And if you're a fan of Spinosaurids like me, I recommend adding it to your collection. If you guys want to pick up this model, head on over to www.everythingdinosaur.com. They offer wonderful service and fast shipping, so make sure you check them out. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a comment telling me what you think of this model. So thank you so much guys for watching and as always I will see you in my next video. Take care and bye bye.